This is Sneaky from Cloud9, and this is my basic champion guide to Ezreal. I think Ezreal is pretty strong, actually, right now in solo queue. You basically just sit around, farm for a bit. Everything you do does tons of damage. Obviously, <laughs> it takes a bit of skill because you actually have to hit your Qs to do good damage, but it's not too hard. Uh, a lot of times, your support can set you up nicely. And then your ulti is obviously super low cooldown. It goes down to like, I think it's 48 seconds when you have 40% CR. And then obviously it gets way lower because of the change they did to his Q, where it gets reset, or your cooldowns get reset by 1.5 instead of one, which is huge for your ultis. You just, you basically look on the map whenever you can and check them out and just start reducing it with your Q. It's really fun to play. Ezio's laning is pretty decent right now, actually. You don't go super aggressive because a lot of times, there's going to be tons of creeps in the way for you to actually be able to do anything. But if you just play it safe, go aggressive when the enemy is out of position and go for those oddball Q spots, then his landing's pretty good. So team fighting for Ezreal is not that different. Usually, you're going to want to poke before you actually get into a fight, just because of the way you know your kid is. You have your Q, you have your ulti. Uh, the best way to use your ulti is stand off in a secured no vision spot so the enemy doesn't have full time to react and then just throw it at them as much as possible and then get get your uh, Q to reset your ulti before the team fights are happening so they're actually chunked down and then when you actually get into the team fights even if your ulti's not up that's okay uh, just throw out the Qs go for the autos don't put yourself in kill range it's gonna be pretty rare that you're gonna wanna EN unless <laughs> the team fights over you need to save it or uh, just being defensive with it is usually the best option so a tip I have for Ezreal is your Essence Flux could actually hit yourself, which is nice for the attack speed that it gives, but it's not actually that practical. Uh, the only time I'd ever really use it is just around big objectives that you're trying to forcibly kill. You just throw your W at the team and then E into the Essence Flux for the extra attack speed, but that's really the only time I'd ever use it. Or maybe if you're like trying to 1v1 someone, it would be a decent point. So runes for Ezreal, I don't really run anything weird. I just run standard uh, four, or 12 MR, 14% attack speed, 8.5 AD, and 9 armor. It just helps you out the most early game and throughout the game. So, masteries for Ezio are just 18 ferocity, 12 cunning. You take fervor battle. I think it's better than Thunderlords. Uh, you auto attack a lot as Ezreal, and Thunderlords got nerfed a bit. Okay, well, the, the entirety of it, like, precision was super strong, had really high uh, dual pin, but then they nerfed it back to the normal amount that it originally was. And then Thunderlords, it's harder to proc because of the the time it gives you in between each hit, like your three hit, and it's got a higher cooldown early. Obviously, it scales down to be less, but Fervor is good enough that I think it's worth just taking because Thunderlords is nerfed. And Fervor is pretty easy to stack. Your Q gives you two, and then uh, auto attacks give you one each, so it's pretty nice lots of damage and then you get the seven percent armor pin which your main damage as Ezreal is physical so the dual pin doesn't really matter that much from the cunning tree the only thing it's going to make a difference on is basically your ulti sniping people maybe won't give you that kill at one time and then your e as well doing a little bit less damage but it's made up for in the fact that you have a uh, more armor pin later in fervor battle so skill order for Ezreal is pretty basic. You just max Q first, and then second is going to be E. I don't think W second is good at all. I haven't really tried it, but they uh, E is too good to not put extra points in. The W is, it's decent. Like, yeah, you get more attack speed. It does a bit more damage, but the cooldown doesn't change. The attack speed doesn't really affect yourself. You can jump into it, but it's just not reliable. Like, if you're trying to W E all the time, like, get the attack speed from the W, you're probably just going to die going for it. And then uh, early game, you can go for uh, Q, E, Q, W. That's actually never going to change. Never put an extra point in W uh, at level 3. It's just always worth the Q. So for Ezreal, his best build right now is blue build. So what that means is you basically just buy the blue items. So it's uh, Tear the Goddess, which turns into Man Immune. And then from there, it's uh, Iceborne Gauntlet. You can kind of switch these around for one and two. Uh, sometimes you go tier first. I think tier first is like the 100% buy. You can't really delay that because it'll stop your mirror mana, which is an insane amount of damage whenever you get it. So tier is always the first buy, but then 
Sometime you'll want to go for Iceborne first. It's a little bit less damage, but it's more CDR early. And I guess you get a little bit more, more mana when you do get your mana immune. It's okay. It, I usually do mana immune first. Third item is, it's a little bit up in the air. Uh, sometimes, us usually Bork is going to be pretty good here. Uh, there's a lot of health items in the game that you can easily recognize, like Dead Man's Blade, I guess Randoins. When those items are there and there's not tons of armor, Bork is really good. You can go Lord Dominic's if they have too much armor for you to deal with, like Frozen Hearts and stuff. There's some really weird choices you can take, like Death Dance. I've done that a few times. The extra 10% CDR when you have 30% is really effective. There's also Ghost Blade. I think the most common one is going to be Bork. And then fourth is just whatever uh, other items you didn't really get. You can get Bloodthirster, Lord Dominic, you can get Mom. So many options. Third item is usually going to be your Lucidity Boots. I almost always get it like right after... I finish one of my first items, either Menamune or Iceborne. I think it's just really effective just having the extra move speed because other people are buying their Swifties around this time and then you're going to need extra move speed to get away from those guys. So cooldown boots is really good. Thank you for watching this guide. Uh, make sure to check out the rest over here at lowclass.com.